When I first started learning about minimalism and learning to live with less years ago, I remember being totally confused by the buzzwords capsule wardrobe. I really didn't get it. I could understand having fewer clothes, but what made it a capsule? So if you're where I was in this capsule wardrobe confusion, well, I'm gonna explain what it is and why many people swear by the benefits of a capsule wardrobe. Hey, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, then welcome. My name is Mia Danielle and I chat all about holistic and clutter-free spaces. So if that's something you're into, be sure to click subscribe and turn on those notifications because I release new videos every Tuesday. Now, essentially, a capsule wardrobe is just a collection of versatile items that can be interchanged to make multiple outfits, and ideally used for multiple seasons. And it's not new either. The term came to be in the 1970s by Londoner Susie Foe, who defined it as a number of key items that don't go out of season or out of fashion. Kind of like a time capsule, but for clothing, hence the words capsule wardrobe. There are obviously tons of ways to go about inventing a capsule wardrobe for yourself, you know, determining your iconic style and refining your color palette. Mine is what you might consider an extremely low maintenance capsule. My clothes are versatile and interchangeable, yes, but only because everything goes with jeans. While my wardrobe is not an expression of a modern day fashionista, I do think that it might be a helpful glance for those who, like me, are cool with basic comfort and simplicity. So yes, you can absolutely have a small, interchangeable, season withstanding, simple wardrobe that feels good to you. The goal is, of course, to cash in on the benefits of having fewer and more versatile clothes, and there are many. Like number one on our list here, preventing decision fatigue. We are increasingly seeing extremely successful people with simple wardrobes, and the most common reason tends to be related to something called decision fatigue. For example, Barack Obama told Vanity Fair in 2012, you'll see I only wear gray or blue suits, he said. I'm trying to pare down on decisions. I don't wanna make decisions about what I'm eating or wearing because I have too many other decisions to make. And when asked why he wore the same thing every day, Mark Zuckerberg said, I really want to clear my life to make it so that I have to make as few decisions as possible about anything except how to best serve the community. He explains that he actually has multiple versions of the same gray shirt and that there are tons of medial decisions that just consume energy and that aren't necessary. Even Albert Einstein notably wore the same gray suit in his later years. According to Forbes, it's been reported that the famous physicist bought several versions of the same gray suit because he didn't want to waste brain power on choosing an outfit each morning. Jim Quick, a learning expert and researcher, says that human minds can only make a limited number of good decisions per day. So sure, we can throw out random decisions, but the quality of those decisions decreases over time. We call this decision fatigue. The second thing is that it's more eco-friendly to have a limited wardrobe, to have an interchangeable and versatile wardrobe. This is something that I'm personally trying to be more mindful of, especially as I learn more and more about some of the companies out there. The EPA estimated that the generation of textiles in 2018 was 17 million tons. That's 5.8% of the total physical waste generation that year. And those numbers were higher than any year prior. There's been extensive media coverage regarding how fast fashion is leading to unprecedented waste that just can't be managed. Even donating, which is typically the better option, isn't able to accommodate the incredible clothing waste. So if your closet is jam-packed and overflowing, imagine how the landfills look. This is largely due to fast fashion, and this is something that you may or may not have heard of, but fast fashion is a business model where brands are generating about 10 new seasonal fashions per year instead of four, the actual number of seasons. This perpetuates ongoing clothing consumption. And of course, the reason for this business model is simple, to increase the bottom line for the businesses. And it's all the rage. Most of the big box clothing stores are doing it, Gap, H&M, Old Navy, Walmart, Forever 21, you know, just to name a few. If you're living in a first world country, you may not even be seeing the impacts of that. But places like West Africa, where a large portion of our unused clothing waste is sent, do see that impact. Fast fashion clothing stores have become so cheap that people are able to keep up with the trends, which feels like a good thing until you think about what's at the other end of that shopping cycle. So owning fewer clothes helps the environment, but purchasing fewer clothes actually saves you money. 
It also opens your pocketbooks to afford higher quality and ethically produced brands, making sure that your money is going towards something that aligns with your personal values. I mentioned earlier that fast fashion clothing stores have become really cheap, but a good question is why are these clothes so cheap? Well, aside from being cheaply made, which is often a part of the shopping cycle inducing process, many of the big fast fashion businesses are also known for their unethical business practices. For example, H&M in 2018, despite its promises, the company failed to pay 850,000 garment workers living wages. Many of the female workers are also physically and sexually abused for not meeting quotas. LA Times reported that the Labor Department found factories in California that were making clothes for Forever 21 and Ross that paid workers as little as $4 an hour. This is in California. This isn't in some third world country. This breaks my heart because these used to be my places, not Ross. Gap and Old Navy have an ongoing rap sheet for unethical labor practices and even child labor. In addition to all of this, the environmental practices of these companies have been called out time and time again. Well, when you have a smaller wardrobe, you don't have to fall in line with all of these heartbreaking practices. You can actually afford to find good quality, even philanthropic brands that are a good fit for you. Or you can do like I do and thrift, saving even more. One thing that a capsule wardrobe does really well is helping to develop a cohesive or even an iconic style. For example, while not minimalist in number, Steve Jobs shared in his biography that he owned 100 black turtlenecks, his signature outfit. He came to like the idea of having a uniform for himself, not just for convenience or for decision fatigue like Zuckerberg, but because of its ability to convey a signature style. Some people rely on a consistent presentation. It's not uncommon for celebrities or speakers to assume a style for public presentation. But many of us do the same thing in our own way. We use our wardrobe as a method of expressing who we are and what we identify with. There's a reason why self-expression is so often placed on the clothes that we wear. It's an easy way to convey a message. This is who I am. This is what I'm into. Also, because a capsule wardrobe is specifically curated to fit and feel amazing and to be the perfect style for each individual, you can be sure that each item in your closet is always the right item. The fifth benefit is that it conserves energy. Digging through miles of clothes in a tightly packed closet doesn't just expend mental energy leading to decision fatigue, it also expends physical energy. Just general energy and emotions like frustration can get tangled into choosing what to wear. Some people end up changing outfits multiple times for a single occasion to find the right combination. It's exhausting. Christopher Nolan, the director of Interstellar, almost always sports the same style suit and blue button-up. According to the New York Times, he'd long ago decided that it was a waste of energy to choose anew what to wear each day. And think of the time saved, which is number six. Count the minutes that you've spent in your life shopping for clothes, choosing clothes to wear, doing laundry, folding clothes, fixing them up on the hangers, picking them up off the floor, bagging them up to donate. We can dump a lot of time into something that was originally intended just to keep us warm and mask nakedness. One of the benefits of a capsule wardrobe is that you don't have to spend more than a few minutes getting ready. On any given day, I can throw on my shirt, pants, and shoes and be ready to walk out the door in like five minutes. Now, if I need to shower, put on makeup, and make coffee, then that's another story. Side note, I am chronically late. But I don't waste hardly any time with the dressing part. That part is simple. If you think about it, a great deal of that time is in vain anyway. I mean, when you look at your photos 20 years from now, chances are you're not going to admire what you are wearing today. Think about that. Number seven is that it just reduces stress. For all of these reasons and more that we mentioned above, it can really just reduce stress to simplify your wardrobe. The benefits of a capsule wardrobe or having a limited or smaller wardrobe are similar to just the benefits of minimalism in general, which you can see in my video right here. It's just less stressful. No more stressing over the right outfit or the money that you spent for the outfit that you're not wearing anymore or what doesn't fit you that you wish did. It's like John Maxwell says, you cannot underestimate the unimportance of practically everything. Leave the unimportant nuanced stuff in its rightful place. 
I want to close by reiterating that there is no one size fits all for a capsule wardrobe or for having a minimized wardrobe in general. You may have preconceived notions of what one should look like and that may not be in line with what feels right for you and that's totally fine. These are just the benefits of a capsule wardrobe of any style, design, or number count. No rules, just intentional choices. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're ready to dive into your closet right now, then I recommend you pop on this video about 10 questions to ask to help declutter your clothes. I'll catch you back here next week, same time, same place.